Are you tired of losing money on sports bets? Do you want to increase your chances of winning and make smarter bets? Then you need to understand the math behind sports betting. In this video, we will explore the probabilities, odds, and expected value that determine the outcomes of sports bets. With this knowledge, you can make informed and intelligent bets that will increase your chances of winning. So if you want to win more and have more fun with sports betting, keep watching. When you place a bet on a sports event, you are essentially predicting the outcome of that event. For example, if you bet on a football game, you are predicting which team will win, or if the game will end in a draw. The sports book, or bookmaker, is essentially offering you a bet on your prediction, and will set the odds for each possible outcome. For example, if the odds for a particular team to win are 2.00, this means that for every dollar you bet, you will win $2 if your prediction is correct. The higher the odds, the less likely the event is to happen, and the more money you will win if your prediction is correct. But how do sports books determine the odds for each event? This is where probability comes into play. Probability is a measure of how likely an event is to happen, expressed as a decimal number between 0 and 1. For example, if the probability of a team winning a game is 0.5, this means that there is a 50% chance that the team will win. But it's important to understand that the odds offered by bookmakers are not always an accurate reflection of the probability of an event happening. This is because bookmakers include a margin in their odds, which guarantees them a profit on most bets. For example, if the probability of a team winning a game is 0.5, a bookmaker may set the odds at 1.90 instead of the fair odds of 2.00. This means that the bookmaker will make a profit of 0.1 for every dollar bet on that team, regardless of the outcome of the game. To determine the odds for an event, sports books use the concept of expected value. Expected value is a mathematical calculation that combines the probability of an event with the potential reward or loss of the bet. For example, if the probability of a team winning a game is 0.5, and the odds of that team winning are 2.00, the expected value of the bet is calculated as 0.5 x 2.00 equals 1.00. This means that on average, for every dollar you bet on that team, you can expect to win $1 in return. Visualization of Expected Value Calculation By understanding the math behind sports betting, you can make more informed and intelligent bets. For example, if you know the probability of an event happening and the odds offered by the sportsbook, you can calculate the expected value of the bet and determine if it is a good value. If the expected value is greater than 1, this means that the bet is a good value, and you should consider placing it. But how do you calculate the probability of an event happening? This is not an easy task, but let's go through it step by step. 1. Identify the event that you want to determine the probability of. This could be the outcome of a sports game, the winner of a competition, or any other event that can be predicted. 2. Collect data and information about the event. This could include statistics, past performance, weather conditions, and other relevant factors. 3. Use external tools and models to analyze the data and determine the probability of the event happening. This could include statistical software, machine learning algorithms, or other predictive models. Some available tools for this include FineLine, https colon slash slash getfineline.app, Trademates Ports, and Rebel Betting. 4. Adjust the probability based on any additional factors or insights that you have. For example, if you know that a team has a key player injured, you may want to adjust the probability accordingly. The software tools are generally good at calculating the probability, but they might not have all the latest insights or information factored in. That is why it is essential that you adjust the probability if you are aware of some influential factors. 5. Verify the probability by testing it against real-world outcomes. This will help you see how accurate the probability is and make any necessary adjustments. Overall, determining the probability of an event happening is a complex process that involves collecting and analyzing data, using external tools and models, and making adjustments based on additional factors. By following these steps and using the right tools and models, you can determine the probability of an event happening with a high degree of accuracy. 
When you know the probability of an event, it is easy to calculate the expected value for the bet. All you have to do now is to place bets with expected value above one. The final thing you need to consider is how much to stake on each bet. There are many different staking plans, and we made another video explaining these. Be sure to check it out. Lastly, it's important to remember that sports betting is not just about the math. It's also about having fun and enjoying the thrill of the game. So while understanding the math behind sports betting can give you an edge, it's also important to stay within your limits and only bet what you can afford to lose. We hope you enjoyed our video on the math behind sports betting and found it informative and helpful. Now we want to hear from you. Do you agree that understanding the math behind sports betting can help you make better bets? Or do you think that betting on sports is all about luck and there is no way to increase your chances of winning? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. To learn more about sports betting and the math behind it, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative and engaging videos like this one.